today we're actually going down to the hunting lease and we're gonna do a little bit of hunting this morning. What's the plan with this thing? We're gonna be pulling out either a pig or a deer. <laughs> with a drone. With a drone, you got it. <laughs> we got the hog blaster on deck. Let's see if we can't sneak in here and kill one. Checking one more time. The pigs are still in there. Let's sneak in here. I was expecting to shoot walking in. They're right there, right there. How's it going folks? Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. We are in North Carolina right now. Drove down last night. We brought our big T40. We brought a Matrice with us. Long drive, about eight hours. Drove uh, up until about 11.30 last night. We got in town, met up with Braden. So our pigs, as we were sneaking in, we parked, they were still there, and they left 10 minutes before we got inside of the feeder. And uh, anyway, we go down this bottom, we creep our way down there for like 30, 40 minutes. We're just creeping one step at a time, listening. Finally, this big old pig starts working up the creek and he cuts across and uh, is, I seen my opening, comes out in the opening, boom! You shot. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> happened, but he didn't squeal. He didn't act like he got hit, nothing, but it was 45 yards with buckshot. I don't get it. Let's go find him. We're gonna go look. I know exactly where he'll be if he's dead, but he didn't even squeal. He didn't act like he got hit or nothing, but it's like, I just don't see how I possibly could have missed. He couldn't find any blood or anything, so he wanted me to try to f come find it with the thermal drone. And I told him, yes, this canopy is super thick, but give me a little bit of time, the conditions are right, I'll find him. This is gonna be a $14,000 rig trying to squeeze it through that little hole. Gotcha. Good so, luck. Good luck, bud. All right, bud. I need it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is nice. Well, we got it up. We can see if we can get it back down here in a little bit. What's the thermals? Oh, they're going to be great. Yep, it's on. I should have connected my phone. Uh, that canopy is hard to see through. Yeah, but in the heat with how... Uh, let's go to wide. Jeez. Well, we're going to let Mike do his thing, see if he can't come up with this pig. And uh, I guess go from there. I don't know if I hit him or not. That's like, I don't know how I would have missed, but he did not have the reaction he should have. Well, this is what we look like. <laughs> Obviously, the only thing that we're battling is the canopy, like having leaves on the trees. If there's a heat signature, I'll, I'll still pick it up. There we go, boys. We got something. Uh, I think it's... Tell me what you're seeing. I don't know what I'm seeing. I gonna... okay. It's alive, so I think it was... So it's alive? It, it was running pigs. It went into this uh, cutover, I think is what that is. No, it's not. Uh, that's hm. big timber. It almost looked like deer, though, running. Really? Trying to find a spot to find them running through. Come on. What's that? I have no clue. Oh, squirrel. Bird. Squirrel? Yeah. I'm picking up squirrels. See him in there? Yep, he messing around. There it is. No. Yeah, bear. I mean, I see a pig. Yeah. Got him! Right here. This is what this stuff does. Like, there's no doubt about it. Dude! I'm telling you, this stuff works. You find him? I found him. There's no way. Yes way. There is no way. Come on. Well, let me see. Are you serious? So I just got back down there. I was grid searching down there, looking for any blood, any anything. I'm just thinking, that pig didn't act like he got hit, didn't sound like he got hit. There's no blood, there's no nothing. That drone, you'd never found that pig. I'm telling you. Never found that pig if it wasn't for that drone. And thick canopy. Give me some time, I'll do that it. That is some thick ass canopy too. How far down is he? He's down there a little way. Holy cow, we can't get the Defender down there. Uh-uh. Dude, come we, on! That's what I'm talking here. about. 
Like, we get crap go, all the man. time, like, thick canopy, can't do it. I'm telling you, I told Braden, give me a little bit of time, and I'll find this sucker if you hit him. Is he right down, I mean, how far is he, 100 yards, 150? He's, uh, from right here to the drone is 534 feet. Come on, Mike, you got it, baby. After landing the drone, we went to recover the hog. As Braden walked up to him, he got up and ran off. Braden shot him again, and we spread out to canvas the woods. Oh my gosh, we gotta get across this ravine. Well, I'm pretty sure I was gonna hit them all three shots. My God, Braden. Dude, that, that'd kill me if I fell. That thing got the balance all son. <laughs> He's right there. We just got to get across this big ass ravine. You want to take a hike? That's what we we're thinking about doing. I'll do that. That was a long drop. Which way did he go? He is hit right here. Okay. But I don't think pogs just don't bleed, man. Where? Uh, so we're to get the drone back. Where up. were you when you shot? Thirty yards back. He was probably you, 50, you're 45 confident. yards. Oh, he got hit. He got smoked. But he didn't squeal or nothing. Just like the first time I hit him. I know I peppered him all in the face and shoulders. Is this what like a hog would have laid here? Is that what I this don't is? Know. It looks like it. That might have been where he was laying, and we caught him when he was cr trying to, he heard us coming and was trying to get away from us. Mike with everyday tree care. Yeah, right. I mean, he, he just made me look like a <laughs> man. Go, Braden. No, I'll, I'll climb. <laughs> we are not getting this pig out with the defender. He is back here, son. Oh my God. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. We got him, baby. Hey, Mike. Yo. Brandon's got it. Dude, this joker went a long way. Where y'all at? Hey, can you whistle? Can you whistle loud? He's in that direction. This, yep. this direction. Yep. All hey. right. That's the big boar. That is him, son. We got his ass. How are you getting it out? That's the issue. So we had him in the big stuff in that hilly terrain. I was worried about getting him out there. Well, then he ran to the cutover. Or the, the, these are new pines. We can't get the defender in here. There's no way. Right. We're going to drag him 300 yards. Got what? an idea. What? If we pull him to that opening, yeah. use the big drone. No way. Hoist him out. Big like, drone, hoist him out. out. Yeah. Want to do it? You think I want to drag him? Look at his big old head. Have you seen a pig up close like this before? Nope. Dude, he's freaking giant. He stinks. It, it smells like... <laughs> It's just like, just like these, these pigs can go. Well, they, you literally, if they're hanging out in an area, you can walk through and smell where they're at. It's nuts, dude. Yeah, no, he's a stinky son of a gun. Let's go, son. Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So, so you're we, wanting to take the big drone and fly him out. We what, hoist him out. Where yep. are you gonna fly him out in here? Well, we fly him back to the station where we can put him on the defender. Get him to a road, basically. Yeah. So basically, I'll fly it back. Uh -huh. I'll put it down, and you hook him up, and then we'll take him back up, and we'll take him all the way back. You think you what? can get the drone down in here? Uh, no, I don't have to come down in. We'll have a rope come down. Down, hook him up. No, way. let's do it. Is that opening gonna work? Or we waste our time dragging? This house might work. We get under right here, dude. That's clear. I think I can We're do it. We're gonna run all the way back to the clubhouse just to get the drone. Yep. Wow. Or just leave it there. All right, we're headed back to the clubhouse. We're gonna get the big drone loaded on a defender, and then head back to get a little bit closer, find a place to launch, and then we'll fly back in there. <laughs> pick up that hog and hoist it out because trying to pull that thing out from that far back this, this forget that interesting. yeah Very wild interesting. this is a must-have if you're just an average Joe Yoder looking for the stupid pig it's a thing that's I'm an average Joe Yoder you can afford these drones if you're an average Joe Yoder is what I was told by some guy on a podcast drone technology has gotten better and less expensive Average Joe Yoders can now afford technology that would have been way out of reach just a decade ago. How and when Average Joe can use that drone is a okay. question worth asking. I got the hat. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Average Joe Yoder here. Let's load this drone up and go hoist this pig out of here. Oh my god. we just got back here this is a great opening we'll get this thing set up here we'll launch i'll have to freaking run through the woods so i can like see my drone go and then i'll bring it down and then you gotta hook it up Let's do this
That is crazy. Hey, leave a comment. Do you guys think this is gonna work? Mike, what are you doing? We got a freaking rope tied to this thing already. It's gonna be wild, I can tell you guys. This is gonna be nuts. Yeah. We're gonna just use a 30 foot rope, but after taking off, I think it's gonna take a 60 footer to get down through those trees. Right. Uh, better safe than sorry once I get back there and I can't get it down. Yeah. So I wanna I wanna just put this on. Going 60 foot, let it rip. Yep. Pigs are gonna fly. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotta come right down these trees. We're gonna have to hook up this hog and get him out of here. Okay. Here comes the big drone. He found us. There he is. So Mike has to drop this 60 foot rope down through these trees. He is uh, definitely a skilled drone operator. No doubt about that. I got 75, 75%, I think I can do it. Yo, you made it. I made it. <laughs> this is crazy. This is wild. You think you're gonna be able to get that rope down through here? Woo. Gonna be a challenge. Average Joe Yoder getting it done. <laughs> get it, get it around there. There it is. We're on. We're hooked up. Oh my gosh. There he goes. Pigs do fly. No way. We got a 300 yard sprint we gotta make fall on this drone. Get this thing to the truck. They picked it up. Holy cow, it worked. <laughs> nice work. Dude, that's pretty cool. Oh my god. That is wild. That you was... see a pig go through the trees. Bro, and y'all a... full sprint chasing after the pig through the woods. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep up with the drone. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Was that crazy or what? Using a drone to fly out a pig. That's the future, folks. I'm telling you. Hey, I really appreciate all you guys that came over from Braden's channel. It means a lot. Thanks, Brandon, for the shout out. I'm excited for the growth, and I'm telling you what, guys, it's going to be wild. Thanks to everybody that came over from Braden's channel. means a lot. We'll see. If you guys get this thing to 30,000 likes and 55,000 subscribers, we're giving him a drone. Yes, he's getting his own thermal drone from Drone Deer Recovery. And we'll see. I appreciate it, and we'll see you guys on the next one.